<laughs> so, hi peeps, all you wonderful, beautiful people out there who have been watching Tess, or Tess B, or whatever uh, rendition of Tess that you have been watching, I'm sure there's probably a Tess A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, O, P, U, Q, I, K, I, 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 probably <laughs> many, many versions of Tess out there. Um, funnily enough, I've never met any myself. Uh, you probably will never meet anybody like me in your life you hear about them. <laughs> you, you certainly will hear about people like me. And occasionally you might even see a couple of people like me run for high office. People like Bernie Sanders. Oh my fucking God, a socialist in America. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that possible if they weren't uh, socialist, you know, milk teat suckers, you know what I mean, uh, who are billionaires and millionaires, you know what I mean. Uh, the only thing that Bernie Sanders is doing is bringing socialism down to the lower classes. It's always been fine for socialism to engrandise and enrich the rich, <laughs> you know, which people love rich socialism. Oh, oh. What do you mean by that? People will say, Tess, what do you mean by rich socialism? Well, when you get people who make billions of pounds a year profit, and they also get hundreds of thousands of pounds a year tax breaks, it makes you wonder why a teacher earning £38,000 a year pays 32% to 38% of her wages and tax, well, a corporation earning nine billion dollars a year actually gets paid money back <laughs> by the tax office because they haven't made enough profit. Oh my fucking God, I feel sorry for you. I do. Mr. Walmart, I fucking feel sorry that you didn't make the £10.5 billion profit that you projected last year that you would make this year. I feel really sorry you only made fucking $10.2 billion and therefore you asked the government of America to give you $300 million tax refund. for a company in profit whereby that teacher that poor teacher who was making £32,000 a year last year is now making $30,500 this year and can't pay her rent or can't pay for her, her um, uh, uh, you know, it, it gets, gets so ridiculous that I don't even know what I'm, what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, she can't pay for her pension uh, and her her uh, mortgage and uh, contribute to a, a teenage child's you know, education. Whereas you have fuck-tarded wankers, fuck-tarded wankers, yeah. yeah, sitting back, mourning that the government might tax their dad's money. Their dad worked all his life to earn that money. Or do you think he worked all hard all his life to earn that money to give it to his son? who turned out to be a drug addict, drunk, 
who ran over four people, you know what I mean, when he was 15, you know what I mean, and avoided getting sent to prison for driving drunk into a bus stop and killing four people, avoided getting arrested, well he got arrested, but avoided being convicted of those murders, you know what I mean, by saying, well he, he thought that he, he was allowed to do that. Basically, that was his defence. Well, I thought, because of the way my father brought me up, I thought I was allowed to do that. I thought I was allowed to just run over the peasants, murder them, and, and get away with it. I'm sorry, you know, if, if I, you know, my father brought me up wrong, but that's the way that I thought about things. And do you know what? You know, <laughs> uh, I'd love to have that defence as well. I'd love to have the defense that because of all the books and, and, and the movies that I watched when I was 17, you know what I mean? I just wish I didn't go to jail for, for, for selling, you know, narcotics, you know what I mean? Three and a half years in jail for selling narcotics. But all the movies that I watched said it was fine to sell narcotics and that people actually not only wanted them but needed them, you know what I mean? Well, that wasn't my defense. <laughs> <laughs> but it fucking should have been. I should have got off with it. I should never have went to fucking prison for selling narcotics to people because obviously people wanted them and all the movies I've ever seen as a child told me that people needed them and I should be the provider of them since the government wasn't doing its fucking job. You know what I mean? And let's face it, what's government in the Western world is doing its fucking job? Let's face it, what government in the world is providing health care? You know what I mean? They seem to be brilliant at providing bombs to drop on other people, you know what I mean? But I would love for them to provide health care they could drop on the population of their own fucking country. I'm just saying, you know, we can bomb and kill people 300,000 fucking miles away, or we can actually improve the health of the people who that live within the borders of our country today and improve their education. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can improve the education of the world by not paying billions of pounds for bombs, but paying billions of pounds for education and health. What is wrong with our government? What is wrong with our populace? What is wrong with the people that vote for our government? Do you not want a free education system? Do you not want a free health care system? Well, you can have both of them. Do you want bridges and roads that work and connect you with the whole country and the rest of the world? Do you want airports that connect you with the rest of the world? You can have all of that. The one thing you can't have is that and nuclear fucking bombs, airplanes, ships, submarines that will take those nuclear bombs somewhere in the world and drop them on people. Which, if you think about it since 1945, we have never ever done in Britain. We have never dropped a nuclear bomb, fired a nuclear missile, or launched a nuclear fucking, you know, um, uh, torpedo. Uh, never in our lives have we... So why do we have them? Why do we have these weapons of mass destruction that cost us billions of dollars, billions of pounds, billions of euros just to have sitting on a shelf somewhere in case we have to fucking use them? And let's face it, um, <laughs> who are we going to fire it at? Who, who in the world at the present fucking day with, with, with the present day threats we have of people walking into an underground fucking subway station and releasing a huge, you know, uh, compressed gas fucking cylinder of sarin gas, how are we going to protect ourselves against that? And what the point? Who are we going to retaliate with our nuclear bombs against that? Nobody fucking knows. If we did have a sudden attack in London, 
that killed a million people because you know I, I don't know is it 18 million people a day use the, the, the London Underground if a million people were murdered by sarin gas in the underground in London who would we launch a nuclear weapon at? Who? Would it be Russia? Iran? Iraq? Saudi Arabia? Australia? <laughs> you know, America? You know what I mean? South America? You know what I mean? Mexico? Uh, France? Germany? Japan? I mean, who would be the, the, the horrible person we would have to launch our nuclear weapons at in order to, you know, uh, make everybody feel that happily that, you know, well, as many of them died as us, you know what I mean? Is, is, that, is that that the standard of, of uh, our technology and our liberal and, and psychology, I don't know, is that the level of the human mind? Well, it's only more of them die than us, and it was better, you know, even if we kill some of us, when we're killing more of them, it doesn't matter, you know, even if my mother died when I was shooting one of them, is, is that the level of discourse we've come to? I just wonder, you know what I mean, about these people, George Bush, Trump, Ted Cruz, David Cameron, yeah. if we were going to bomb a city to kill someone who we really hated, oh he's a horrible person, but my mother, your mother, their mothers were there in that town, in that city, visiting on holiday but this would be the only time we would know where that person is would you sanction dropping a nuclear bomb and i guarantee you every single person would say no if my mother's in that city no way no way i'm talk dropping a nuclear bomb or not you know but as soon as you say, well, nobody you know, or you're, you're and not a single person that you personally are connected to is ever going to be hurt by this, this action. Would you drop a nuclear bomb? Every fucking single one of those motherfuckers would say yes. But I would still say no. I would still say no if fucking Hitler, Saddam Hussein, fucking, you know, all the horrible is most wicked people in the world were all in that same fucking city, I would still say no I'm not dropping a nuclear bomb there because you're talking about just destroying maybe a hundred or two hundred or three hundred people. No horrible, ugly, no poor poor no all the, 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 the ugliest, miserable as fucking you know, the devil himself look like just imagine he exists, put him in there. God put him in there so do you wait yeah, but you think, yeah, so 300 people in a population of 500 million, you're going to kill 500 million innocent fucking people. I would say no. Yeah, I hate those fucking uh, uh, assholes. I hate the devil. I hate God. Do you know what I mean? Although they don't exist. I hate Pol Pot. I hate Hitler. No, yeah, you know, I hate the, these horrible murdering bastards. But I think, but... They're, they're just a handful. Why can't we just go in there and find their house and arrest them? That's too difficult. That's too difficult. Well, I tell you, um, I remember a, a president in America saying, we do these things not because they're easy, but because they're hard. Yeah. My God, America was at the height of its power then. It was as, at the height of its popularity in the world because JFK was the kind of man who spoke the truth about the human being, the, the, the state of being human, what it was to be human and feel alive and free. 
told me of the road to Diaz, we're told we're alive and we're told we're free, but none of us feel it anymore. We don't feel free or alive. We feel smothered, cocooned, hated, and yes, ashamed. I do anyway. I feel ashamed of the things my government has done in my name. And I tried hard to make them hear me. As many did in America too. It's a worldwide problem. Fundamentalism. Religion. The capture of our political systems by money. And money interests. These are the things we need to be aware of and fight against. Used to be just bigotry. <laughs> But then bigotry wasn't always rich. Now we have rich bigots and they're political as well. Political rich bigots. They will destroy our world. Earth. Good men don't stand up. And by men I mean men, women, children. By the way, some of the youth movements today are fucking phenomenal. And thank fucking God for them, you know. I, I, and I say that only because I was brought up to think, thank God for everything, man. But I actually, I'm an atheist and I don't give a fucking shit about God. Thank civilization for the youth of today. Thank civilization for the education system we still have some places in fucking Europe and North America. Thank you very much for the ideas which are captured and spread as memes across the internet of the world because these are the things that will save mankind. These are the things that will save the planet. So I'm the fucking fan, motherfuckers. I'm only one old fucking man, you know. But I do believe there are millions like me out there. And you're all welcome to join me in a glass. The water of life. So I'm the fucking fan. Uh, normal <laughs> broadcast will resume on the channel of Terse later, you know what I mean? But this has been just Terse being himself, you know what I mean? And, uh, kind of Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I love Bernie Sanders. If only more politicians were like him in, in America and in Britain, we could have such a beautiful fucking Western nation, you know, Western world, we, we could. Jesus would approve, by the way, or use fucking, you know, crappy, fucking, you know, fundamentalist guy. Jesus would approve, you know what I mean? Jesus loved the poor. Jesus wanted to help the poor. You know what I mean? He wasn't for tax fucking reductions. He didn't give a fuck about that. He wanted to feed the people who couldn't feed themselves. Anybody who, who thinks that you know, that works out as tax cuts for the fucking rich who eat fucking, you know, stuffed fucking hummingbirds. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we, we take the hummingbirds. <laughs> we extract all the bones from it with, with a special, you know what I mean, bone dissolving process and then we replace all the bones with, you know, a gel made from cockles 
the only found in the deepest, deepest Mariana Trench, you know what I mean? You know, flavoured by fucking truffles, only found in, you know, the mountains of fucking, you know, Afghanistan, and then, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, coloured by, you know, tiny crustaceans found in, only found in one dark cave where the daughter of eyes and they, 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 they search about in the dark. And I've been there for you no know, three billion fucking years evolving, you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, uh, for the sake of the fundamentalists, we'd say, well, I've only been there for five thousand years, you know what I mean? But we know that it took three billion years from evolving to these, you know. What I mean? But by crushing the cells, it gives them a beautiful gold, translucent fucking colour that we put into this. Fucking, you know, thing that we eat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. Uh, I'm just, I'm just rambling now. I'm just rambling, rambling, rambling. Yeah. Fucking right, people need to fucking go the fuck up and stop being such fucking bitches and understand it. No, you can live, no, with no eighty billion pounds in the bank, right? Or you can live like ordinary fucking people. How much fucking food can you eat in a day? And I'm not talking about fucking paying £10,000 for a fucking steak. You know what I mean? Most people can have a fucking beef burger with some lettuce and tomato on it. You know what I mean? Costs about £1.80. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what, $1. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, a cheap burger joint. Uh, expensive do burger do five dollars for a burger. How many burgers are you going to eat a day? You know what I mean? Okay, you want to eat a fucking salmon, you know? Well, that's fucking fine. Does it cost you eight billion pound a fucking year to fucking go and fish fucking salmon? No, it fucking doesn't. Well, maybe we should charge you eight billion dollars a year to go and fish a salmon. Every salmon you fucking catch, you know what I mean? We should charge you eight billion pound a fucking year because you can afford it. And then that eight billion pound for every salmon, because you it's just a fucking salmon, right? Yeah. So we take that eight billion pounds out and we help eight hundred million fucking poor people not to be poor anymore. Now, don't you think, rich people, that's a fucking wonderful fucking thing to do? If you've got a hundred billion fucking dollars, don't you know, and you make like no eighty billion dollars a year, don't you think like no five billion dollars a year, no taking off you to go and pay for fucking people to eat, eat food rather than fucking, you know, picking leaves off a bush, boiling it so it's, <laughs> it's soft enough for your kids to eat. And it doesn't actually nourish them, but it's, it fills your stomach and stops them from crying at night. Don't you think that's fucking worth you losing five billion pound a year from your eighty billion pound a year fucking income? I would think that fucking well worth it. In fact, if I was in making eighty billion pound a fucking year, I would quite happily take a million pound a year and give the rest of it to fucking the government or charity or whatever. No, just please stop people from starving. I just would. I could live perfectly fine on a million pound a year. If I had a billion pound a year, I'd give me a million and, you know, the rest of it, just you know, spend it on stopping other people being starving. I think that would be it. I think everybody who makes a billion pound a year should keep a million and give the rest of that billion to fucking charity or government. You know what I mean? If, if you want a bigger army and a bigger boats and their planes, then stop fucking asking poor people to fucking pay for it. If you're a billionaire, you know, and you want fucking mere fucking war machines, take your million pound a year to live on, one fucking, you know, gigantic fucking house, and give the rest of your billion pound to the government to pay for nuclear bombs and submarines and airplanes and all that shit, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, you know, if you are so fucking scared of fucking Iran, stop spending your money on hoes and cocaine, you fucking idiot, you know what I mean? 
Stop making poor people pay for your fucking planes and bombs. You pay for the planes and fucking bombs, you know what I mean? And let the poor people enjoy snorting cocaine and eating burgers, you know what I mean? But we then they might be able to fucking afford to eat fucking burgers and snort fucking cocaine if you motherfucking rich fuckers were, were to pay for the fucking planes and bombs he's always demand that you know what countries should have. Well, if you demand that a country should have that shit, fucking pay for it, you fucking cunts. You know what I mean? Anyway, I think I think I'm done.